Hi, this is Daniel DeTuro. In this video, I'll demonstrate how, for about the price of a couple of these synthetic frozen meals, requiring a degree in chemistry to decipher the ingredients list, you can make a healthier, home-cooked meal with little or no cooking experience. What makes this possible is an inexpensive slow cooker. You'll need a 4 to 5 quart slow cooker to prepare this recipe. Most slow cookers have two settings, low that requires about 8 to 12 hours of cooking time and high that cuts the cooking time in half. This recipe makes six servings, but you can cut it in half if you have a smaller cooker. You'll need about a two and a half to three pound chuck roast, about eight ounces of carrots cut two to three inches long and about the same thickness for uniform cooking six small potatoes of any variety, about one and three quarter pounds. Cut the potatoes in half or quarter, depending on the size. If you don't like potatoes, you can substitute other root vegetables like turnips. About one half to one cup of thinly sliced red or yellow onion. You can add more if desired. Kosher or table salt to season to taste. Black pepper to taste. If you don't like black pepper, you can omit it about four to six inches of fresh rosemary or one half to one teaspoon of dried rosemary. Adjust the amount to taste or omit it if desired. For heat, you can add red pepper flakes to taste. And finally, about one half cup of dry red or white wine. Substitute water if you don't have or drink wine. Arrange the potatoes in the bottom of the crock pot and liberally season with salt. The potatoes have about 3,400 milligrams of potassium, so you'd have to use over two teaspoons of salt to counteract the potassium. Season the potatoes with black pepper if desired. Arrange the carrots on top of the potatoes, season if desired, and then layer the onions on top of the carrots. Add the water or wine, followed by the chuck roast. Season the chuck roast to taste with salt and black pepper. Add red pepper flakes if desired and top with a sprig of rosemary or sprinkle dried rosemary over the roast. Cover and set the cooker on low or high. Use low for all day cooking and high to cut the cooking time in half. After five hours on high, this roast still needed another hour or more. After six hours on high, the roast was tender and can easily be shredded. Manufacturers like to boast about the protein content of their meals. How does our slow cooker roast compare? One serving of this recipe has about 500 calories, 10 grams of saturated fat, about 300 milligrams of sodium as prepared, 27 grams of carbohydrates, and 42 grams of protein. The complete meal as shown has about 640 calories, 12 grams of saturated fat, about 400 milligrams of sodium, 11 grams of fiber, and 51 grams of protein. Please leave a comment if you have any questions about this video. Thank you for watching and healthy eating.